I've just recently read the Christmas memory story by Truman Capote for the first time and I've had this feeling like I've been missing out on something all these years. The story and the way that it's written is just beautiful. A southern writer from Monroeville, Alabama, you know, kind of Truman Capote, you know, um, comes home um, after he's been through the mill in New York and he's, he's written this really successful book and he's just very burnt out and he has to come back because the last relative who occupied this home has died. Um, and he comes back and he's just flooded with all these memories. It's just about a memory that Truman Capote, um, who, who Young Buddy is basically representing in this play, it's basically about Truman Capote and his childhood and how these people in his childhood, they just affected his lives in ways he would never forget. It truly is a Christmas memory. Imagine a table as old as a penny. Big iron stove and a bowl with your Old painted chairs that are pretty as any. Wishes and honey and long afternoons. Sook, who is Sook? Um, She's somebody that's constantly in the, in the state of play, constantly wanting to play. And as Sook, I, I, need, a, I need a partner. I need, I need a, a playmate, is what it, that's what Buddy is. You don't want to waste this. It was me like me and my friends. Barry McNabb, the choreographer. Um, approaching this piece, it was looking into trying to figure out a vocabulary that would fit the time period, the characters. As I watched um, Alice and Silvano working together, uh, they began to remind me of a, of a duet of some kind. And I, I came to the, to the idea that what they really are is kind of a vaudeville team, a, a little vaudeville team of mixed ages. I had never had the opportunity to work with um, Larry Grossman or Carol Hall a, 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 or any of their music before in my many experiences doing shows. But it was great. It, what was so wonderful is that he really does capture the feel of that period of that, that Depression era America. I play Nell Harper, who is basically Harper Lee, who wrote To Kill a Mockingbird, because Harper Lee and Truman Capote were childhood friends, and they both wrote books and stories that included each other in it. But Nell is kind of a bully. To me, it's a story about going home. And for me, the older, the older I get, um, the more I'm from a tiny little mill village in South Carolina. And the older I get, the more I want to be there. I, I don't know of anybody else that's doing this kind of thing right now. This vaudeville song and dance numbers with an, an, an older character and, and a, a young kid together. It's just a blast. And also, you know, bring some Kleenex. A boy went to man to go fishing. A man to teach him how to catch a ball. A man to show him how to put a on a boat. A man he can look up to, walking around, walking tall. Working on this piece has brought back so many Christmas memories to all of us. And we're so pleased now to include Truman Capote as one of our great Irish writers. And we'll be presenting Mr. Capote a lot of Christmases. <laughs> Happy